Somali families who immigrate to the United States face specific challenges. Understanding the context of these challenges is critical for child welfare staff working with these families. Though there is much cultural variation among families, there are three important ideas that generally inform family life. Islam is a guiding structure for understanding familial roles and values. Family is defined to include both immediate and extended family, and all adults are responsible for child rearing. There is a clear hierarchy between adults and children. Families immigrate from Somalia to the United States for a variety of reasons, both voluntary and involuntary. After they arrive, they can encounter acculturation-based stressors. Many parents have described feeling surprised and concerned about how isolating the American style of parenting is, grieving the loss of communal parenting and the freedom their children had in Somalia. Getting to know American social systems presents another set of challenges. A lack of cultural understanding from school or other child care providers may lead to misinterpretations that open families up to involvement with law enforcement and child protective services. For example, parents may not be aware that giving their 10-year-old the amount of independence and responsibility they had in Somalia is not common practice in the United States. If this child's teacher finds out that their fourth grade student is watching her younger siblings while her parents are at work, they may file a report of suspected child maltreatment. Culturally rooted miscommunications like these often snowball into larger problems which may cause ongoing child protective involvement. It's important for caseworkers to be aware of the trauma involved in interactions with child protective services and try to prevent this. A caseworker can also pause, identify parent needs they're familiar with, and seek consultation from cultural brokers for additional help and clarification. By connecting with cultural brokers, a caseworker may discover that many other Somali families have faced similar struggles while settling into the U.S. This information is helpful in building a collaborative treatment plan that involves reimagining what communal parenting can look like in the absence of a large network of extended family. In this way, the Somali community itself can become a family's network. This collaborative approach may also involve talking with parents about parent-teacher dynamics, school involvement, supervision at home, and what laws govern disciplinary practices in the United States. Other ways to help the family receive support within the individualistic context of American culture include incorporating relatives in meetings, identifying supportive community neighborhood spots, and alerting families to parent events set up by community members. When child welfare workers adopt this kind of cultural humility approach, they can shed new light on families' needs, strengths, and goals, and help ensure the success of the Somali families they serve.